everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I have a bright, playful scrapbook layout that you can create to record your summer memories. I'm going to share how I used a few cut files to create this vivid scrapbook design and show you how easy it is to create a border with stencils. I can't wait to show you how this project comes together. On my desk, I have the July Foxbox Perspectives. These are filled with some wonderful vivid designs that are great for summer. I will be using this fun title that is a multi-piece perspective. You can choose to use just the outline, just the letters, or piece them all together on your page to create a sweet little title. Some of my favorite pieces are these word tiles. Pre-made tiles like this are a simple way to add phrases and sentiments on your cards and scrapbook projects. These perspectives here are what you will receive in the July Foxbox subscription, but if you are like me, you might want to add a few extras, and that's where the Foxbox Plus is a good bargain. In addition to the perspectives, you receive a coordinating paper snip sheet. You will also receive a gift and a stencil. As I create my scrapbook layout, I'll bring in a few additional supplies to the project. I'll list those in the description below, along with a link to the Bramble Fox shop. I'm starting out with a simple background that I hand stitched. I wanted to give my page a bright, colorful background, but I didn't have any pattern paper in my stash that was large enough, so I decided to make my own. I'm going to be incorporating a few leaf images on my page. This is one of the new cut files on the Bramble Fox site, and I'll explain more about those in a moment. In the center of my page, I have a circular photo on some red-orange pattern paper and a teal plaid. To frame this, I'm going to have a little scallop frame. Now I want to give my page a more tropical feel, so I'm going to tuck all those leaves around in a circle. I cut these from two pattern papers to bring a little more visual interest to my design. Before I assemble the page, I want to bring in some color onto the right side of my layout. So I've grabbed a pattern paper strip from my scrap bin that matches the photo and the other elements really well. I'm also going to bring in some more pink to this side of the page, and I'm going to do that with a stencil border. This new stencil from Brabble Fox is called Office Borders, and there are quite a few designs on here. I'm a fan of the notebook ones, but I feel like the scallop is going to be a better fit since I have a scallop frame around the photo. I want this to span the length of my page, so I'm going to draw a line along the edge so that I can easily line up my border as I move it up the layout. I'm also going to mask off the border next to it so I don't accidentally add ink to that area, and I'll secure the stencil in place with a few magnets. Of course, I'm going to choose Kitsch Flamingo for my ink because it's a great match to the flamingo mask in the photo. To apply the ink, I'm using one of Bramble Fox's small detail brushes. This applies just the right amount of ink to the page, and it gets in all the tiny details of this stencil. As I approach the top of the stencil, I'm going to reduce the amount of ink applied to avoid excess color buildup when I overlap the stencil in that area. As I move the stencil to the top, I'm going to line this up with the line I drew and overlap a few of the scallops. As I blend the ink into the two overlapping scallop pieces, I'll be able to create the same amount of shading I added to the rest of the design. This stencil is such a versatile design that can be used on cards, scrapbook layouts, and other little projects you create. I chose to use only one of the designs today, but you could use multiple borders and overlap them along the edges of your page or use them to create a nice photo frame. Now that this border is complete, I'm going to attach that pattern paper strip in place, and then I'm going to use my sewing machine to add a little bit of stitching. In the center of the layout, I've attached the circle frame, and now I'm going to bring in those leaves to tuck around the circle. 
Before I adhere these in place, I want to add a little distressing to them. On my blending tool, I have a sanding disc. I'm using this to create a little vein in the center of each leaf and a little bit of a worn edge along the sides of the leaves. This is a really simple way to create some dimension on your leaf shapes without adding any additional color. I'm going to be alternating these two leaf shapes around my photo. The two leaves are a few of the images included in the Bramble Fox Spring Leaves Cut File. This digital download includes nine leaf shapes designed to work with Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, and Brother Canvas Workspace. Now that I have sanded all the leaves, I'm going to tuck them in place. When I get to the end here, you're going to see that I didn't quite space them correctly, so I had to go back and adjust them a little bit. I purposely used a temporary adhesive to hold these in place because I knew that I wouldn't be able to get the spacing right the first go around. With temporary adhesive, I can just make adjustments as needed and then I'll adhere all of these in place permanently with a little bit of glue. With the leaves in place, I can add my outer scallop frame and my photo in the center of the page. Now it's time to bring in a few embellishments. I'm going to cut out a few of the items from the paper snip sheet. I want to add the little Today tab and oval. The Today tab is the same orange hue as one of the letters in the title, so this will bring more of that color to the page. I want to have my perspective title sit near the photo, but there is a lot of dimension in that area, so I need something to adhere those letters down onto, and this green oval is going to work perfectly. I'm also going to cut out a little pink label because I want some more pink on my page, and I've cut out the little circle flamingo image using a one inch die. The last item I'm going to grab from this paper snip sheet is a little phrase that says summer adventures. This color is similar to the leaf colors on my page and it's going to be a great addition to the title. In the upper right corner, I'm going to bring in more of the blue green plaid with a half circle. Over this, I'll be adding the Today tab and the Flamingo Circle. To give that flamingo the look of a flare button, I'm going to attach a little epoxy sticker over the top. These stickers come with the Foxbox Plus Kit or can be purchased separately in the shop. Near the photo, I'm going to attach that perspective title. The letters are separate pieces, so I need to add a backer for the perspective to sit on. The oval that I cut from the perspective sheet works perfectly and it creates a nice anchor for the title. This title has some very bright, bold, summery colors, which is why I chose it for this page, and then I added a softer color below it. This smaller phrase matches those leaves really well and grounds that title in place. Now this is the first time that I've ever used a circular photo as my focal point, so it took me a few moments to decide what to use to create balance on this layout. I have not made any purchases in over two months, so I had to dig through my stash to see what I had available. I was rather excited when I discovered a collection of items with a flamingo, palm tree, and some vivid orange and pink florals. These were a perfect match for the photo. There were also some leaves in a darker teal color, which is a great complement to the orange and pink hues I have on this page. Using smaller clusters of elements and creating an asymmetrical design seemed to be the key to balance out this page. I also discovered that elements with a curved design or rounded feel created a better flow on the layout. All right, I'm finishing up this layout with a few more florals and a little phrase at the top that says, so fun. I'm going to finish adhering these in place and then I'll share the completed layout with you. This page does have a bit of an asymmetrical feel, which I really like. I wanted to bring a little more weight 
to the left side, so I added a few more florals and some pink dots. I also brought a few of those dots near the top of the page to add some more pink to my layout. I'm going to share a few close ups of this page so that you can see all the fun details. This bright, colorful layout has a great summery feel with leaf cuts, a vivid title, and little paper snip pieces. Using a circular photo as a focal point was a first for me, but I discovered that by surrounding it with circular shaped elements and simple embellishment clusters was a simple way to visually balance out the design. If you're one who likes to pin projects to inspiration boards, I have placed these photos on my website and in the Bramble Fox Friends group, and you can grab those still shots there. I want to thank you for joining me for another scrapbook project. If you'd like to see more of my projects, you can visit my channel or follow Miss Carrie's Creations online. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies listed below, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see what you create.